welcome back to the craft room. I am so glad that you could join me. Guess what I finished today? Yep, yep. I finished the butterfly coaster that I had showed you guys yesterday in the previous video and then two videos previous to that I was working on it. Um, I did just basically just finish it up. So I thought I would hop on here and show it to you so that I could get started on the fishy. Now I will, there's really not a whole lot of basic instructions for this. Sorry for the frizzy hair, it's raining. But uh, I will try to write up some basic instructions and put them on my blog. And when I do that, I will add that link to the description box or you can just go check it out. I think it's in the one with, what was the last thing I did? Oh, the octopus that we made together. Uh, blog link for that. You can click on it in my Tunisian crochet or my uh, make with me, whatever it's called, categories and see all of the things that I have written patterns for or have created. Most of the things I've written patterns for I've created, obviously. But anyway, I made a simple Tunisian square or canvas. I did, and I don't know which end is up. Oh, actually, this was the bottom, but it's actually the top. Yeah. Anyway, I put them backwards. It does, it's, it's not going to matter. But on the first row, I actually did a extended Tunisian crochet stitch, simple Tunisian, which gave it a lot less curl, which I did like that. But I used, I just finished using it. Here it is. If you have not watched my previous videos, I used this. I love this cotton yarn. This is in the colorway Two Pink. And I've had this a while, honestly. Not a whole too long, but it didn't, it worked up a whole lot different than what it looks like it's going to. And I really like it. And I also used, which you can use just a regular crochet hook. For this as long as you don't have that extra handle or anything although you need a whole just straight hook like this this is a size I crochet hook and it needs to be able to hold 19 stitches and that's what I did on this one so it's 19 stitches or 19 loops on your hook by 18 rows tall but I actually use this one this has my next project on it I haven't made any progress since my last video because I didn't even work on this today I worked on the other one but I actually use this one. I don't know why. It's just my go-to when I do things like this. But you honestly, for the little coasters, you can use just a standard crochet hook. Like I said, I used a size I. And like I said, I chained 19. So you got 19 loops across and you're going to have 18 rows tall. This is the cross stitch pattern that I used. I got this off of Pinterest. I will... Uh, definitely for sure put a link to it down in the description box below so that you can go check that out. It will be a Pinterest link since that's where I found it. And yeah. So anyway, here's the back side of my project. And I did, I was kind to you guys. I did film a little clip for the back side of my stitched project so that you could see what that looks like because I know... We're all curious. I know that I am. I'm always curious about what the back sides of people's projects look like. Mine's really messy. So I will insert that clip and then I will show you what the front side of my project actually looks like. Hey everybody, welcome back to the craft room. I am so glad that you could join me. I thought I would show you real quick the back side of my butterfly square or panel, whatever you want to call it, before I put my two pieces together. So here is what the back side looks like. Yes, I did outline my butterfly, but I'm not going to let you see the front side of it until I show you the whole project. But I thought I would do this real quick before I sew it together so I don't forget. All right, I told you it was pretty messy, did I not? It is pretty messy, but nobody's, you can't tell, can you? It's completely covered up and concealed in there and nice and squishy and soft. But, are you ready? There is my finished project. I think it turned out really adorable. And I was afraid that the background was going to be really busy. 
that you wouldn't be able to see the butterfly, which it kind of was. And I decided to go ahead and outline the butterfly with my black yarn, which I did find a little scrap of black yarn. So I did not have to use that big full brand new skein. I was happy to find that. I think I have another one too in my uh, cotton stash scraps. So yeah, that was exciting. And the other thing I did up here at the top, I did French knots for the little balls on top. I did French knots, which I've done quite a few of these because of that uh, poodle square that I made a long time ago. It had a lot of French knots in it because of the French poodle. But this one got kind of wonky on me. It was kind of interesting trying to do that and make sure it stayed secure in the uh, yarn in between the stitches. But I don't think those turned out too bad. I just don't like that piece of white across there. But it's going to have to be fine. I'm not snipping it. I'm not trying to alter anything. And something that I would change next time if I were to make another one of these. You see how those lines go straight up from the head of the butterfly? Well, in my mind, I just, I just did the same thing. I went straight up. But I'm afraid that the little antennas are going to get caught on something or get snagged or something like that. So if I were to make one in... Again, I would actually just do the back stitch kind of like I did here and make my antenna up and then put my French knots on top. So there you go. And all of this is, all of my cross stitch part is Lily Sugar and Cream scraps that I had, which is super exciting. So there you go. There you have it. And I have already had somebody request this. For their own and I told them I would keep that in mind so yeah I'm excited I'm excited to finish this and I can't wait to get started on this one I need to finish this panel and make another one this is some of the premier just cotton I think it's turquoise white or turquoise moral but it looks more like blue to me some that my sister got brought to me and this is what we're going to do if you didn't see yesterday's video Boop fish i can't wait i'm super excited but i will share that in a future video probably the next video that you see will be all about my fish cross stitch and this too will be just a coaster same size etc so i want to thank you guys for joining me here in the craft room and i will see you right back here for my next video